MSA Sports Center stage with Steel Valley's Dwayne Murray and Paris Ford after the Ironman's impressive 50 to nothing victory over Abbotworth here at Campbell Field in week two. First of all, fellas, congratulations on the victory. Uh, let's talk a little bit about expectations coming into the season. With the conference change, South Bay has gone. St. LaSalle's gone, Keystone Oaks is gone, and Steel Valley all of a sudden is the favorite coming into the conference this year. You guys got a lot of press in the offseason, the way you've been here for four years. First of all, talk a little bit about what it's been like for you this year to go from being a team that's an up-and-comer to being a team that's expected to be a contender. Man, this was really nothing. It was, um, we always knew it was going to be a top contender in the offseason, where we were up here, where we left, under the stairs, and just built that chemistry together. Paris, you Come to us here from uh, from Steve LaSalle. You joined Steel Valley this year. You definitely bring uh, quite a talent on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. What's it been like for you coming in to join this team after you played against these guys the last couple of years? Um, I knew most of these guys since like my seventh grade year. So it's just like we got to rebuild that ball and call him together, like Dwayne said. But um, like our expectations are high this year. Like we're just trying to go out with a bang. And both of you guys can jump in on this one here. Um, coming in together, you, you guys have a lot of weapons here on, on, on the offensive side of the ball. But defensively, you guys both you know, play very strong defensively as well. Individually coming into the season, the way you have some great statistics. I mean, you're over 4,000 yards in your career, you know, 5Ks on the horizon. Paris, you've done a lot on both sides of the ball. You know, you already got you know, the, the opportunity to go to pit. But coming into the season, what do you guys as a team want to accomplish? That's where you go and get the, the state ring. It's all right. Nice. 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 Right. Start with us. I mean, it's just like, like, like the way he said again, building the bond. As soon as you build the bond, it's going to be hard to beat us. I'd have to agree, you guys are definitely going to be a tough out. Have you had a chance to, I guess, maybe stop, take a step back and think as you're talking about, you're talking about Hershey, that, that that's what the ultimate goal is. 1989 was the last time Steel Valley won a championship. I was younger than you guys were whenever that happened. <laughs> but as you take a look ahead now, you guys have a really good chance a really good team here talent wise in front of you is the chemistry builds you're obviously going to get better. Dwayne being here for four years, being a four year starter, you've seen some ups and downs. You know, you've taken your bumps along the way. You couldn't get past South Bay. You guys are so close last year. How much does that motivate you this season? Just make sure that it's not that close and everything goes the way tonight. I'm motivated everyone, even the community. We've been one not having a game. Paris talk a little bit about for you too the opportunity to come in here and, and have the opportunity to play on a team that really is a championship. Uh, that's great. I mean, like knowing me and Dwayne won championships when we were little, like we have we have yet to reach one at high school level. So like one hour last year, I think we both got that same match. The whole team. Yeah, our whole team. Excuse me, our whole team. So. Well, you bring this guy in, it helps a lot. But when you guys had 13 seniors on the team and, and seven guys that were starters and graduated, so there was a lot of turnover. Let's talk for a second about your quarterback, Ryan Harper. That guy throws a nice football. Let's get him in the mix here too. How about that? Parents, you like that? <laughs> Wayne, he was a player. How, how have you developed? I mean, I was just talking a little bit about that first game against Keystone Oaks that was, felt like it was last week. That was already 2013 ago. Here you are now. You've watched this team grow. You've watched yourself grow. How, how, do, you, how do you feel as, as a player? How do you feel that you matured and changed over the years to being the player that you are now on the cusp of $5,000? I don't feel like I've become more of a leader like with the team and off the team in school. He's the Wayne Murray. He's Paris Ford. We're in Campbell Field to hope the Steel Valley Ironman 2-0 after an impressive 50-0 victory over the Adam Worth Antelopes here tonight.